Hey friends, this is Jay Author and I'm making this presentation on behalf of RetirementTransformation.com and today I'm going to talk about how to optimize your portfolio returns. This is part of our financial tip for retirement series and follow these important financial tips to bring miracles in your life. So first of all, let me talk about the disclaimer. We are not asking you to do something so you cannot hold us responsible for anything. Pause the video, read all that and you basically all of this what's presented here is just for your information purpose only. So why optimize your returns? I asked this question to some of my friends here. Do you want high returns on your portfolio? The answer was consistently yes. Well, I think you know, you might know already if you watch some of these videos that you can get high returns if you invest 100% into stocks. But can you sleep well with this type of risk? If you know you can lose all of your money, specifically if you are in the older generation or older age group. You can't do that, I think, you know. This is my opinion. I'm a baby boomer. If somebody asked me to do that, I cannot do that. If I were 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old maybe, I can do that. But today, I cannot do that. So, most Good advisors talk about the risk adjusted returns than the highest returns. And how do you get the optimal returns? You get optimal returns from the optimal mix of assets. Now, this is something you have to, maybe you may like to pause and, you know, watch it clearly. Uh, I'm giving you some uh, recommendations, but these recommendations are based on my personal experience. May not be the right recommendation because I don't know your what's your financial situation. I don't know what's your age group. I don't know about what's going on in your life. So this is purely for information purpose. And more or less, you can say it's kind of a guide, you know, thumb rule, you know. Uh, so if you are less than 40 years old and if you have capacity to really invest with taking real good risk, then you may like to invest 100% in the stocks. Now, what should be the breakdown of this 100% in stocks? 40% in large cap growth funds, 25% in small cap growth funds, 25% in large cap value funds, and 10% in international funds. But if you are between 40 and 50 years old, then increase the fixed income component, make it 20%, and the stock should be 80%. And again, the stock mix would be almost same what we had earlier for less than 40 years, which is 40% for large cap, 25% for small cap, 25% for large cap, and 10% for international funds. If you are between 51 to 55 years age bracket, then you, have, you may like to invest 70% in the stocks and 30% in fixed income. And now, this percentage changes for a stock mix should have 40% large cap growth funds, 25% is small cap growth funds, 25% is large cap value funds, and 10% international funds. And if you are between 55 to 60 years old, then you may like to invest 50%, I say, let me say it again, 50% in stocks and 50% in fixed income. And a stock mix, would be 40% large cap growth funds, 10%. See that drastic reduction here. 10% in a small cap growth funds. Because that's more risky, that's why we're reducing there. 40% large cap value funds and 10% international funds. And if you are between 60 to 65 years old, then keep reducing your equity portion every year by 5% and keep increasing your fixed income portion by 5 years. So at the age of 65, you'll have 25% in stocks and 75% in fixed income. And your stock mix would be 40% large cap growth funds, 10% is small cap growth funds, 40% large cap value funds, and 10% international funds. So, whatever you do, I always say, keep the balance 
and it's always better to have a good mix of stable fixed income investments and stocks because that's the key ingredient to working toward meeting long-term financial goals. Now, these are the standard uh, portfolio for those who are looking for some standard answers. But again, you can see with the age some of these changes and you've already seen that in previous slides. So look at it, but this is more for the ideal scenario. And I've done a video for this, so you can watch that video also. So at the end, no matter what you do, keep it balanced. Keep balance is the key for a good life. Balance is also the key for re good retirement life. And if you have balanced retirement nest egg, then you'll have a good retirement. So did you notice that some of these small changes which we made, the timings were really crucial for that. With the more, you know, as you age, you have to keep changing your portfolio. And that can make the big difference because it's all about how much risk you can take versus what kind of rewards you should be taking. It applies for everything in life, including your retirement planning. You know, you can make the big difference to retirement planning if you make small change now. What's that a small change? Have a plan. So you can develop your own comprehensive retirement plan with the help of the wheel of the retirement life planning process. You can do it because anyone can do it because we are providing every single tool, work process, checklist, everything. And you can do that because the wheel of retirement is the only tool for the development of comprehensive retirement plan. So take action now, plan for your retirement logically and not emotionally because with the help of the wheel of the retirement life, you can do it logically and you can develop your own comprehensive retirement plan because that's your first step for a better retirement life. So if you like this video and you want to know more about the retirement planning tips and everything else re related to retirement, go ahead, check it out at retirementtransformation.com slash blog. And don't forget to take action because if you take action now, you're going to benefit. So with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching this video and check out our more other financial tips videos available at blog and also at other locations. Check it out. Bye-bye.